Good morning, everyone. Just want to make a short video on how I made my uh, inexpensive copper mesh uh, sprouting lids. At first, I was using cheesecloth, which I had unbleached, um, unprocessed cotton cheesecloth, and it's very stringy, and it, so it. You have to layer it a lot and I had the sprouts mold a few times when I was using that I don't think it was getting enough airflow out I also don't think I was changing the water enough but so I decided to make um, a copper mesh lid I was gonna buy a stainless steel one but the only one I could find is 304 stainless steel which is still 50% iron and I'd rather not have my sprouts hanging on to that so I'm gonna show you what I did I bought just this copper mesh roll from Amazon, which is this brand, which is used a lot for crafts and stuff, for uh, scrapbooking, things like that. And there are other meshes that are thicker than this, because this isn't that thick, it's pretty thin, but it's thick enough to just put into the lid. Then I just put my lid down that I'm going to, the size that I'm going to be using for the ring that I have and trace that and cut it out on the inside of the line because obviously that's where the actual lid is on the inside of the line that you'll be drawing and this is the one that I already cut out which you can see it fits in there pretty good and you're not going to poke yourself or anything because it's all the way in the lid and it sits in there it's not going to come out the sprouts can sit against it, and it's copper, so it's healthy for you, actually. It's not poisonous to you like iron and steel. This is a precious metal, so it's actually it's good for you. The next step is to get a copper copper ring from somewhere. <laughs> but uh, that's it for this video. If you have any comments, anything you want to add, leave them at the bottom. Make sure you like it. Uh, subscribe to our channel, and have a great night, everyone.